Cook Children's Medical Center says its doctors have treated an alarming number of near drowning and drowning victims this year. Yeah, three have already died and a mother shared with us just how easy it is for a child to be in immediate danger. Fox Sports Macy Jenkins shares her story and the warning also from Cook's Macy. Hi, Heather and Steve. Well, listen, summer is still several weeks away, but Cook Children says it is already warning parents because it's seeing an increase in the number of drownings or near drownings over past years, the past five years, in fact. Now, I talked to a North Texas mother who lost her baby boy after he drowned in a small puddle of rainwater. Her message to parents, never stop watching the kids. It's your worst nightmare, realized. You think it would never happen to you, and then it, it does happen to you. Alicia Mills takes us back to February 2020 to what started as a happy Saturday at their Granbury home. We were just having some neighborhood friends over. Um, we were on the ranch, and he um, walked away for one minute. Her baby boy, Bo Barron, just 21 months old, had wandered away from the house and followed a horse to the other side of their property. We had an empty pool on our property and it had rained and it was this much water. Bo was rushed to Cook Children's Medical Center in Fort Worth, where he later died. The Mills family is not alone. According to the Children's Safety Network, drowning is the leading cause of unintentional death for children under four. So far this year, Cook Children's has had three drownings and 14 near drownings. It's more than double what they saw during the same time period last year. It's a multitude of things. We're in a southern state. We have so many access points to water, whether it's a pool, a bathtub, or even open water like a lake. Dana Walraven with injury prevention at Cook Children says the spike could also be tied to families eager to get back outside after being isolated during the pandemic. She wants to remind parents young children tend to gravitate towards water out of curiosity. Try to put things in place like getting your child in swim lessons or just preliminary water safety lessons where they can learn to float on their back. Advice that Mills relays at the Bow Bear Foundation created in memory of her happy little boy with the big blue eyes. He was our ranch kid. Like he loved being outside and barefoot <laughs> and all those great things. He was kind of a wild child and he just loved, he loved life. Life can be taken in the, in the blink of an eye. So love your kids well and love your family well. Now, some of those layers of protection that parents can put in place include door alarms, high fences or high high uh, locks rather and pool fences. There are actually some programs that start swim lessons as soon as six months old.